Yo, what's up guys? Steve Reese here again for Player Grade Guitars where we feature guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner doom genre. So if that's your thing, please like this video, please subscribe to the channel for more killer content. Today we are going to be looking at Sleep's Sonic Titan. Obviously this song came out back in the day on Dope Smoker as a live track and most recently as a studio recording from the Sciences. It's a killer song. It's in the key of C minor. Your guitar is going to need to be tuned to C standard as is pretty typical for sleep. So get your shit tuned up and let's zoom in and break this one down. Alright guys, so as I mentioned in the intro, this song is in the key of C minor, as is very typical for sleep. The guitar is going to need to be tuned to C standard, so once you've got that going, we'll give the first riff a go here. So, it starts out on with a power chord on the 5th string at the 7th fret, using that open note on the 6th string, and we're going to do some palm muting and come in like this. So what he's doing is he's doing a e, e root five power chord on the on the fifth and fourth strings, and pulling off that uh, fourth string ninth fret to form a basically a root perfect fourth dyad at that seventh fret. So. And you can use that open note because it is the same note, that C note is the same note as that fifth string at the seventh fret. So. so then you're gonna jump out up to the sixth string, sixth fret, forming a power chord, a root five power chord which is the flat five of the scale, comes from the blues scale. So 
So you're just sort of repeating the same type of riff where you're taking a root five power chord and pulling off the fifth note to form a root perfect four interval or dyad. And then it goes back to the first part. Then to end it, he sort of just slows down the riff, you know, and kind of just paces it out. And then you're going to head into the second part of the song, which is, goes like this. So again, this is sort of working out of the blues scale using the flat seventh interval, the perfect fifth, and the flatted fifth. And obviously the rhythm here. And the rhythm here is very important. So the rhythm in this section might take you a minute to get down. I'm going to play it a few times here. You can watch. that riff um, except for instead of trilling between the flat five and the fifth on the sixth string he's going to do it an octave higher and do it down on the fourth string here so it's the same two notes just an octave higher so I do those slides up from somewhere, somewhere between the first, second, and third fret. And that's something I don't think he did back in the day, but you'll see him do, see him do it in live uh, footage these days. So that is the second part of the song. And then the third song kind of goes into this cool riff in the open position. Again, you drawing from the, uh, the, the blue scale where you're gonna use basically a root. and the flat, this sort of implied flat fit, uh, flat fit. He applies vibrato on that all the time. So again, you've kind of got this open E minor chord shape and this open sort of A power chord shape, A minor power chord shape, A power chord shape, and it's just... It 
sort of repeats that. That is the third part of the song. Um, you know, and it sort of goes back and forth between that first, second, and third part a couple times. And then Al sort of does his little um, part by himself. And then Matt comes in with this thick straight. So again, working from that minor blues scale in the key of C minor, uh, utilizing that flat five, kind of doing the interval that we all know and love. Minor third, the fourth, flat five. Uh, and then the flat seven, he's doing this sort of bend on the power chord to bend it up a half step. So then he's gonna take that riff and move it up an octave from the fifth and sixth strings uh, up to basically the third and fourth strings. Same riff, just played an octave higher. So that takes care of the fourth riff of the song, and then you've so sort of got this really cool outro leading into the solo, then outro, um, all the same riff. It's a really cool riff. It's uh, where he actually, they start to deviate from pure minor pentatonic and start to throw in some of these really doomy intervals that I talk about uh, being the major third here and flat second so the major third in a minor context is just going to sound really doomy and the uh, minor second is borrowed from the phrygian mode and uh, also being a half step up from the root they all just sound really doomy and uh, you know you could kind of consider part of this almost borrowing from phrygian dominant because it's using the uh, flat second and the major third, but the way I generally think of it is all just natural minor scale and you've got a few additional doomy intervals you can throw in being uh, the flat fifth, um, the major seventh, the flat second, and the major third. So in this case we're not going to be using the ma uh, major seventh, we're just going to be using the major third uh, and the flat second. So that last riff in the song sort of goes like this.
and then the song ends on that note. And they just sort of roll off the volume. And that note is a fifth of the uh, fifth interval of the scale. So again, the notes, you're just sort of at this uh, 16th fret, 15th fret, 13th fret, and then 7th fret. Sixteen, fifteen, thirteen, seven, and those are all the major riffs in Sonic Titan. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, you enjoyed that lesson. If you did, again, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments. I'd love to hear what you think about how I'm doing these lessons. Maybe you know, other songs by Sleep or High on Fire that you'd like to hear, or really any other band in the Doom genre. Uh, I'm open to doing it all. It's just people seem to like the Matt Pike type stuff right now. So that's what I'm putting out. But whatever you guys want to hear, you know, I'm going to break it down, you know, and show you how to do it. So anyways, take care, guys. Thanks for checking it out.